Hello, everybody. It's Senf here. That basically stands for Scary Entertainment Nostalgia Fun, as you may have seen in the video. And welcome to my first ever video. Today, I'm super excited because we're going to be counting down the top 10 scariest logos of all time. Now, I already know that many other people have made a list just like this, but this is going to be my version, and I may update this every once in a while, but for now, this will be my uh, ultimate list, like my thoughts and opinions on this. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get scared. Now, many people have already put Viacom on their list already. Like, it's pretty much a no-brainer that it's a scary logo. Now, this is a great example of a scary logo because it features the classic in your face zooming in motion that most scary logos seem to have and it just scares the crap out of you and then there's like this uh out of tune music of doom i'm not even sure you can call it that but yeah that's what it seems like now if it wasn't overrated and overused i would have put it higher on the list but honestly it's not that scary anymore. Number nine. And this is yet another example of a classic scary logo, but this time it features the signature scary synth music. Companies used to think that synth music would make the logos cool and hip, but instead it traumatized children and left a firm imprint on our already tainted culture. Seriously, Simph, that's the best you can do in terms of, you know, speaking. Shut the hell up, Screen Gems. I haven't even printed a script yet. Anyway, just like the Viacom V of Doom, this one has also been overrated and overused, so it's not that scary anymore. And that's also one of the reasons why it's higher on the list. Number 8 I swear to God, most of these logos are coming from, well, America of all places. I thought they were going to come from, well, Pakistan or India, but no, it's USA. Huh. Now, I'm fully aware that there is another scary Rankin Bass logo from 1968 to 1974, but I think this version is scarier mainly because of the animation. It's in your face, and it's pretty fast. And it's a little confusing as well. But maybe the worst part is probably the music. Mainly because it's shrill and uncomfortable to listen to. I mean, the first time I listened to it, I got chills down my spine. It was even used in the previous logo as well. Jesus Christ, Rankin Bass. I thought you were for little kids. <laughs> Number seven. Jesus effing Christ, I think we found another American logo! Woohoo! Now, just like Screen Gems and Viacom, this is yet another overused logo. But this time, it actually is scary! It's actually right up there with the other logos on this list! The zoom-in animation was bad enough, but then you had the, well, serial killer music. Was it really necessary, Paramount? Shit on you. NBC, 
number six. In case it wasn't evident enough, this is from frickin' Argentina, the land of cheap, shitty home video logos. I'm sorry, Argentina, but your logos really do suck. Aside from being on a very, very low budget and, well, being cheesy, it also had to incorporate weird synth music and crackling effects. Why? Why, Super Films? Video home instead of home video. I'm sorry if I'm offending Spanish people, but this logo really pisses me off so much. NBC. Number five. Shit on you, USA. I didn't know you could bear so many nightmarish logos, and this one in particular makes me sick. The animation is so goddamn cheesy, and the music... Don't even get me started. Oh, and not to mention that it all takes place on a black background. God. Well... At least it has its horror films to justify everything. Number four. Well, Jack Parnell must be a total badass because the music for this logo is freaking terrifying. Seriously! It's loud! It's loud as hell! And the visuals don't help either because it's just a weird spinning diamond thing on a seizure-inducing starry background. I had to sit through this logo when I was effing 10. 10 years old. And I was on the verge of having bad dreams about it. And as a fun fact, I started researching scary logos when I was 10 years old. But that just goes to show how logos can ruin people's childhoods. NBC. Number 3 Oh, so now India shows up. <laughs> Shit on you. If Argentina is the king of shitty home video logos, then India is the king of nightmare fuel logos. Seriously, they have a whole library of them. Now, debatably, this logo is not that scary due to the fact that it's, well, pretty long. But I think that my first podium entry is freaking scary and it should be gone forever. It's dark and it's, well, it's freaking horrifying from start to finish. The lightning and the darkness were bad enough, 
but the chanting? Oh my god. That's probably the worst part about it. Actually, no, the chanting is the second worst part about it. The worst part of it is actually the horns at the end. And the slow V of Doom zooming in of the logo. Oh, shit on you, India. Stop it. Now, along with ITC Entertainment, this one and the next two almost gave me nightmares. To me, that's how bad it is. NBC. Number two. I hate this logo. I hate it. I get that this logo is meant to be intentionally scary, mainly because it was at the end of a TV movie called The Norless Tapes, but still, holy moly, look at those eyes. Those eyes are terrifying. And the music? Oh god. By god, the soundtrack is horrifying. I also watched this logo when I was 10, and I was freaking horrified. The eyes as the background were bad enough, but the music? Way worse. And this is yet another one of those logos that gave me logophobia when I was little. Well, not little, but still a lot younger. It's just a horrible logo altogether. I couldn't stand looking at those eyes. I couldn't stand listening to the music because it gave me a heart attack. And quite frankly, it was a jump scare for me. And it gave me nightmares for weeks, or almost did. It's a shitty excuse for a horror logo, especially of one like that. National Arts could have tied with this logo had it not been for the length. But six seconds is more than enough for me to be horrified when it comes to that mashup of monstrosities. NBC Before we see news number one, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. My effing god. What the frick is this shit? Because whatever it is, it is horrifying! The quality of the video is something I would expect from a bootleg video cassette, and the audio? My effing god! Whose fault is this? It doesn't help when there's a temple and weird, bizarre, circular animation on a smoky gray background. And then, 
you have to add a choir and men screaming at the top of their lungs to the logo. Are you mad? Are you mad? It's so distorted and loud! Like this loud! I never expected Nepal out of all places to have the scariest logo of all time. But this? This is inexcusable! It turns out, not many people actually know about this logo. Maybe because it's overlooked or something. But in my opinion, this should have more attention than frickin' Vid TV Or OZFILM! A logo that's not even that scary in the first place! To me, anyway. This logo is the epitome of HORRIFYING! And you wanna know the worst part? I discovered it just recently. And I nearly had nightmares about it. I couldn't get the damn thing out of my head! This is the scariest logo I have ever seen. The quality of the video, and the audio, the choir, the animation, the gray and black color scheme, the darkness, the smoke, none of it works. And that is why it's number one on my list. But that's just my opinion. And at the end of the day, the logos aren't going to kill you with their music or their animation or their cheesiness. Unless you got a heart attack from it. But they're not made to harm you. They're just logos. And if I could be honest, I think most logos should be treasured. Even with something as god-awful as Superfilm's Video Home, I think that people should be happy that they discovered something that's really, really rare. There might be some obscure company out there with a logo that you might not even know about. And maybe one day, you might discover it and share it with everyone. And hopefully they'll like it. The only reason why I like researching this is to, well, see what people's reactions to some of these logos are. And pinpoint why they're scary in the first place. I'm really sorry that I cussed throughout the video. But that's kind of what happens when I don't like a logo and I get scared of it at the same time. Just take note of that next time. I'm trying to restrain my language, but it's a bit hard at this point. Anyway, you don't have to like my opinion, because I know there's several other opinions out there. But I would appreciate it if you liked the video for support. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And, um... I might do a part two of this video, so comment down below if you want me to do a part two and what logos I should include next. But anyway, goodbye, and I'll see you all next time. And hey, feel free to dance, because it's credits time! NBC, NBC.